Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing another rad movie review today. And you know what time it is, The Suicide Squad dropped. It's currently in theaters or on HBO Max if you want to check it out. So let's talk about this film. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it! So this is the second attempt to make a Suicide Squad film. This one's done by James Gunn, and we follow a ragtag team as they go on a mission for Amanda Waller. So let's talk about some of the positives of this movie. Definitely a key positive for me is we got James Gunn's flavor all throughout this film. Like you can tell as you watch this film, this isn't a film that was meddled with or edited with or had a lot of like production people coming in telling them like don't do this or pull this out. Like it seems like they kind of did give James Gunn free roam to do whatever he really wanted in this film. So there's a lot of his flavor throughout the entire film and I really do enjoy that. Add to that we have an amazing ensemble cast of so, so many good actors and actors is like Margot Robbie, Jai Courtney, like there's just a bunch in here, Nathan Fillion, you know, Idris Elba, so there's a lot of different actors and actresses to bring to life all these crazy wild characters, and I think the fact that they have like, I think like almost 17 or like 20 plus characters in this film, so like it's really cool, and they all kind of get their own little moments. You know what I mean? Like there's not too much. There's some, of course, get more shine, more explanation of backstory. But every character kind of gets their own little like, you know, ha ha moment or a hero moment. So you're really going to enjoy that for sure. I think, you know, James Gunn really did have a respect for all the characters that he chose to put in this film. We also got some really good gore. This is a rated R film. So there's a lot of gore, some heavy, you know, language, all that kind of stuff. So I like this film because it's definitely geared more towards adults. You know what I mean? They didn't try to like toe that line and make it like oh it's kind of rated r but a little bit pg-13 still like they went full-blown rated r with this film and james gunn like i said he threw his flavor into it and i think he was just the perfect director for this film because it's right in his wheelhouse that's why this one came out like to be so much better than that 2016 version and I feel like the moments in this film are just a lot more earned. All the dramatic moments, all the comedy moments, all the payoffs, they're just a lot more earned in this film compared to that 2016 one in a much more natural and simplistic way. We also have a very top-notch soundtrack for sure. All the music and all the like choices that they had and all the scenes that they put the music in. Oh man, it just makes every scene that they chose so much better. Like the vibe, it's just so vibrant. I really, like I said, like the colors, everything about this film, the feel, all that kind of stuff, the music, it does like just so much better in building that atmosphere that James Gunn wanted. And like I said, this is definitely a wild rated R ride for sure. So let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film. And there's very, very few. <laughs> So I overall had a great, very good time with this film. My only negative with it is there's a small pacing problem in the middle of the film. There's just a certain part, like certain scenes that happen with Harley Quinn where there's, I we needed some of that scenes, but there's a certain part of that I wish they'd taken out, like a good five or six minutes, I think. And that's just a small little nitpicky issue kind of pacing problem thing. Overall, everything else in this film is, like you said, perfect. You know, it's rated R, great ensemble cast awesome writing james gunn throwing his flavor in this film and like spicing it up so well like oh man like i said everything else in this film is quite enjoyable i thoroughly had a great time with it so in my book for the rad rating this film is going to get a 9.5 out of 10 this is a very solid dc film fits the vibe of that dark kind of comedy that you want in a DC movie and that's why I really liked it you know what I mean like I think I wish Warner Brothers WB they should really do this more often 
give pick directors and writers and give them full creative control that way they can really like live out their vision and their vibe and put it on screen because we know what happens when you bring in editors and production people that don't know anything about the story or don't care about the characters as much and they come in and meddle with the project it doesn't end up being that good at all so thanks for sticking around with me all for another rad movie review definitely in the comment section let me know what you thought of the film did you enjoy this new version of the suicide squad and don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that i put out it definitely helps out the channel for sure have a safe and happy day everyone peace out